dossier that Grace wanted. Guess that's my cue. Blaskowitz, I'm ready to pick you up. Just get to higher ground and signal your location. I see you. Approaching now. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry! You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because, first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry! <sighs> All right. Grun got the Enigma terminal working again. You know, this term. What's it for? Just sits there in the hell asking for an Enigma code. What the fuck is an Enigma code? Nazi commanders carry them. Top secret encrypted information. That is what Signorina Sigrun say. Mm -mm, I don't trust that Nazi code. Well, then, eh? She's right. Oh, William, I wish we could spend some time alone, but we're so close to New Orleans. I just hope it's not too late. Hey, Captain Blaskowitz. Should check out this Enigma machine. Everyone's so jazzed. 
up about. Grace! Grace! This motherfucker, don't wait, Abby, or break your idiot neck! I got you, the New Orleans dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of Terra Billy. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terra Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes? My brothers and sisters, for the longest time I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance. Leader. Fort. I, I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm-hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. I'm sorry. Did you need this coat? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. my brothers and sisters.
Jeskowitz. I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco. Not seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Well, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out. Laskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days?
the big easy. Can't undo your tragedy, but I can punish the people responsible.
powered up that overhead crane. fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, you know, excited. <clears throat> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss. Fine.
preacher? No, this. Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink. That's my old time of friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a rock cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking lit. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. You mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said... <laughs> Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. Oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so young. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terry Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. They weren't their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of cantankerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. The difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, hog, and lead right through. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy. You upstanding like you, the establishment jeep. Listen, pal. I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it! Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pull some lines, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. 
So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. Here you go, just mind the temper. Gordon, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on ship. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! See what this puppy can do.